morning and uh, welcome to the first lecture or the first section of this course in uh, web scraping with Python. In the first section, we will uh, we will go through like the fundamentals of web scraping with Python, and uh, specifically in this uh, lecture, we will go through how to retrieve web page. So, what does it mean to retrieving web page, and how can uh, this process be done? All right, let's get started. All right. So first of all, like what is uh, a package that we can use for web scraping? Nowadays, it's very common to use uh, Python pretty much for doing all of uh, these uh, tasks which involve web scraping, so which means grabbing information from a website and uh, then exporting it in, uh, um, in the form of uh, a database or a data frame that then you can reuse for your uh, for your perusal, so you can do data analysis, or you can uh, perform statistical analysis, and so on. So you can basically reuse all the uh, you can use the source of data which is available online for uh, uh, other purposes. And the tool for grabbing this data from online sources to offline, so on your machine, is uh, what is described in here as a web scraping. So well, for doing web scraping, we can use uh, uh, packages uh, uh, included in Python, or to be more specific, not packages, but in Python we talk about libraries. So uh, for instance, like one of the libraries which we'll cover uh, in this course is called UR library, so UR lib. As you can see here, I have uh, enclosed uh, um, a small uh, screenshot of, uh, of, um, of a, like a small script to which we can scrape some data. So in this case, we're looking at this website debian.org and we're trying to um, and, and we're trying in this case to request uh, the scrapage of uh, a compressed file so uh, I won't go through like what is uh, specifically written in here but the purpose of this screenshot is to show uh, how easy it is actually to scrape something from a website as you can see here we're talking about like nine lines of code and we have and our task is actually done so um, as you can see in this case um, in this case, it was pretty easy, and uh, and the only the, the main um, the main part actually this script is the request. So we create a request on a website, and then we uh, and then we do like some other tasks. So, but the first thing the thing the thing we have to bear in mind is request because we will be uh, we will be using this concept in the future. So another, another example here, so we have, uh, again, this is again a request, so we are importing this library, we're going to use your library, and uh, then we will request URL, and then, uh, and then after, after uh, performing this request to a URL, which in this case I've changed website, so I've used geeks, geeks for geeks org uh, which is actually a very good uh, uh, learning source in case you want to you wanna learn more, and then you can print uh, basically everything that was at a, uh, that, that was read through uh, the request of the URL, which is the, which is the variable on the second line. And uh, an example of uh, what is that that got printed is uh, provided in this in this uh, screenshot. So as you can see, actually we got through only like three lines of code. We're able like to get or actually a lot of information. So we can see that a lot of the information which is present of this website has already like been uh, been scraped, let's say, and uh, we got it offline. In this case, we only printed it. But we can imagine this can be exported to database, and we can reuse it for uh, other purposes. So uh, that's all for this for this lecture, and let's go on to the next one. Thank you.